All right, what is going on, everybody? What is up? Hello. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. What is up? What is up? Welcome to today's first of two gameplay streams for Saturday. Uh. Wow. Well, there's a typical start. Saturday, February 3rd, 2018. How are you guys doing today? <clears throat> I hope I find you well. <clears throat> and I hope I find you ready for... A double streaming day. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a double up day. Two gameplay streams on the horizon for you on the schedule here. And you may be saying, I wonder what's coming up today. Well, we'll talk about that in a moment. But first, just wanted to say hello and a happy weekend. First weekend of February. Although the month just typically just started. So for most people, you're just kind of still getting into the swing of things. Of it being a new month. For me... Uh, a couple things. First of all, 100% it is official that January was my best live streaming month ever. It's now been solidified. Where all the, it takes a couple days for all the results to kind of <clears throat> settle in. But yeah, January 2018, the best month I've ever had live streaming. Had the most people in general watching my stuff. The most people uh, cheering, subbing, tipping. It was really an amazing month, so thank you guys for that. Anyone who was here for January, you guys were outstanding. <clears throat> In addition, if you can believe it, I mean, you might, you, you probably wouldn't even think this. I wouldn't have even thought this, but YouTube, DSP Gaming, actually was way up. In fact, DSP Gaming, no exaggeration, had more total views in the month of January than it did the entire year of 2017, any month except for October. And in fact, if you actually look, October very narrowly beat it by about something like 40,000 views. Because in October, we had all those new releases. You know, we had Shadow of War, um, The Evil Within 2, South Park. Um, keep in mind, at the end of the month, we had a ginormous amount of new releases, including Wolfenstein... Assassin's Creed Origins, and Super Mario Odyssey. So, no surprise that October 2017 was the best month in the last year because we had so many new releases, we had people coming out to watch everything, right? <clears throat> but honestly, who would have thought... Who would have thought that DSP Gaming, right? The channel that is just an archive channel for me now. I don't put any original content on there. The only exception being I did put on my Game of the Year awards... And my most disappointing games of 2017 countdown uh, at, you know, in early January. So out of, you know, everything I did, the only original content on there was the year-end stuff. Outside of that, everything on DSP Gaming is just an archive video of what I do here on live streams. So you would think maybe it's not that popular. No, it's actually been the most popular it's been in all year in January, if you can believe it. <clears throat> That's pretty crazy, right? <clears throat> I certainly wasn't expecting that at all. Um, it actually shocked me when I saw that result. However, <laughs> to go hand in hand with that, just to prove what a shit show YouTube is, no exaggeration, even though January was the best views month in a year except for October, it was the least amount of money I've ever made on YouTube ever in the 10-year history that I've used YouTube. It's the least amount of money I've ever made in one month. So the most views, the least money. Or I guess I should do this. What a joke. It really is a joke at this point. That's why, like I told you guys, I don't focus on YouTube anymore. YouTube is really just the backup for me. I can't. How, how could I focus on YouTube and, and pretend like I care about YouTube and YouTube content when I would work my ass off, do the best I've ever done, and make no money doing it, right? It, it's a joke. <clears throat> so... The good news is, folks, we are on the up and up. Things are going good. Um, you know, like I said, the Twitch channel is growing exponentially. All right. And I'm very much having fun doing what I'm doing. Thank God I don't have to sit here and worry about YouTube anymore. I'm really the opposite of how it used to be. It used to be I'd be so frustrated. I'd be here ranting and raving on the pre-stream about I don't know what I'm going to do in the future. I don't know, you know, what's going to happen. Now it's the opposite. It's like, wow, well, guess what? Twitch is way up. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about the future. I'm feeling good about projects, you know. I honestly, quite frankly, guys, I feel a lot more liberated 
right now than I have in years because it was always about, gee, what can I play that's going to get views? What can I play that's going to retain viewership? What can I play? You know what I mean? Now it's like, I don't care. I'll play whatever. As long as you guys on stream are having fun, that's all I care about, <clears throat> you know? And I think that's a better attitude to have, quite frankly. Um, I actually think that uh, it's a lot, a lot more laid back and it's a lot more about focusing on the gameplay and having fun. Like, perfect example, folks, today. I'm playing Super Mario Sunshine on my first uh, stream here, right? I could be sitting here freaking out about how I'm going to upload these videos to YouTube and get no ad revenue because Nintendo is going to claim them all. Or I could just say, you know what? I don't care. Streaming's going great. People are coming out to the streams and having fun and cheering, subbing, and tipping. Why the hell would I care what game I'm playing or if I can even monetize it on YouTube at this point? Your support is so positive and overwhelming and great that I don't give a shit, you know? So thank you, 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 thank you for that. You guys have literally given me my groove back. Like, seriously, you've given me my desire to come to stream every day. <laughs> And the positivity around what I do, you've given it back to me because of this. So, to hell with the negativity of YouTube. I actually just saw someone in the stream chat say Machinima is now dead and it's a good thing I left. Well, I don't know what that means. However, Machinima pretty much almost died a million times during the course of its existence. And the only reason it still exists is because financiers kept coming in and sent giving them money over the years. First, it was... Microsoft giving them money so that they would do the Halo series. And then it was WB Games so they would do the Mortal Kombat series. And then WB bought out Machinima. So I don't know if like now they're closing down Machinima or what. But honestly, I wouldn't be fucking surprised if that were the case. I really wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> I don't know if that's the truth or not. I've heard nothing about this. I don't follow Machinima anymore because I don't care about them. I'm not, I've been uh, one year now since I had my falling out with them. So I really don't give a shit about them anymore. But if they're going away, they're going away. Oh, well. And quite frankly, no loss to the internet. A company that was always uh, completely just uh, bipolar. A company that didn't know what it wanted to do, didn't know what its focus was, didn't know what the fuck it was to begin with. It would it would promise one thing and then within a year completely rechange its whole structure and not even tell anybody. <clears throat> Not even, I'm not even kidding. It's funny because <clears throat> I was actually going through old emails the other day. Um, I was going through old emails the other day. And I looked at my, my uh, archived emails from like 2016. Because sometimes I saved a bunch of emails from years past. And then I go through the saved emails. I'm like, I don't need these anymore. I'll get rid of them. One of the emails I got, <clears throat> no lie, in mid-2016 was... About, oh, I'm your new contact. I'm your new go-to guy, your new agent, your talent manager here at Machinima. If you need anything, contact me. By the time that I had that issue last year where the ad revenue had plummeted on YouTube, I didn't have that guy anymore. He was laid off. <laughs> so that's how Machinima always was. <clears throat> it was like, one day there's a new initiative, there's a new contact, there's a new thing they're doing. It sounds very positive. And then within a few months, the whole thing's gone. They'd cancel the whole thing, they'd lay people off, and you wouldn't even know. They wouldn't even tell you. That was the other thing that got me. Because when I reached out for help early last year, when we had the YouTube adpocalypse, right, and I needed help with that, I reached out to the former head of partnerships, which I didn't know was the former head of partnerships. I, it had been maybe eight, nine months since I had talked to him. I didn't even know that he had left the company and he, you know, he was laid off or, or fired or whatever. They didn't tell me. So here I am reaching out to a guy who I assumed was still in his role and could help me out. He didn't even work for the company anymore. And then I got yelled at. I actually got yelled at by Machinima for writing to the guy who previously was supposed to be the guy who was supposed to help me. And that's when I said enough is enough. And I said, fuck you guys, I'm leaving. You know, I don't want to be a part of you guys anymore. <clears throat> so thank God I got out of there when I did. Seriously. Even though they were paying me slightly more money, right? a very slight amount more money than what I'm getting with Curse. I mean, it was such a negligible amount, it doesn't even fucking matter. But, uh, it just wasn't worth it. It seriously was not worth it, man. <clears throat> so anyway, folks. I digress, that has nothing to do with anything, but we got on a little tangent there. Um, So, 
Let's talk, folks, about today. Let's talk about some positive stuff going on. I've got some positive updates for you guys. I do. Um, so, first of all, today, Super Mario Sunshine. It is true. Returning right here on this stream. It'll be about four hours of Super Mario Sunshine gameplay. I hope you guys will enjoy that. I, I actually really enjoyed the first two sessions of this game that I played. With the exception being the fucking Pachinko stage. That stage was the worst thing I've ever played in a Nintendo game. <laughs> but outside of that, the game's been pretty solid. It's been challenging, but it's been pretty solid, and I've liked it. So I'm looking forward to more of this, you know, on the stream today. I hope you guys are as well. So, four hours of that right now. Later tonight... My late night stream will be my very final Dragon Ball Fighters stream. I'll be playing with Android 21, who is the boss character that was created specifically for this game. And I'm going to be checking her out in training mode, in her combo trials, and then I'm going to do some online play with her. All right. So that's tonight's stream just to kind of put a fork in the end of my Dragon Ball Fighters gameplay. Now that I've finally beaten the story and unlocked the secret character, I figure let's play with her for a little bit. And that will officially end my coverage of the game until Bandai Namco slash Arxis or whoever patches this game and makes the online play viable. Because right now, it is not. Most of the time, when I try to play this game online, I sit around wasting time because the matchmaking doesn't work. <clears throat> then when I get a match, it seems to be a 50-50 chance whether or not the match even completes or I drop from the servers. And even then, when I get matches, again, of like a 50-50 shot that the match is even playable because usually it's so delayed, I can't block. And I can't do anything on reaction. So, in that regard, enough is enough. You know, this will be the final session of that to kind of put it at rest for now. All right? <clears throat> um, tomorrow will be the first in a long time, a PUBG session. That's a main session, meaning my one gameplay stream, my earlier stream, will be PUBG. And I haven't done that in a long time. But I've been getting requests from people to do it because they're saying, man, you know, we'd actually like to participate in your interactive PUBG streams, but you do always do them late. And for Europeans in particular, you know, you're streaming PUBG in the middle of the night, if not early morning for us. So we can't really watch live. We always have to watch the videos on YouTube because you do it earlier. So I've decided to switch my streams and tomorrow will be PUBG as my main stream. It'll be the only stream for tomorrow, okay? Then on Monday... I'll be returning to UFC 3 for another session. So UFC 3 will be the mainstream Monday. And the Monday night will be more Super Mario Sunshine. And then, ladies and gentlemen, on Tuesday, the big new release for the week. The Shadow of the Colossus Remaster. <clears throat> yes. Shadow of the Colossus Remaster starting on Tuesday. So we've got a lot of variety and a lot of fun streaming coming up the next few days. I hope if you guys can join me that indeed you will. Certainly would be appreciated if I if uh, you know you guys come on out and check out the stuff. All right. So that's the schedule. I've also got a positive update in regards to the thing that I've been alluding to recently, but have not given you guys a lot of information. Um. Basically, it looks like earlier, uh, earlier this week, uh, coming up, I should have a big update. In regards to the thing that I've been alluding to that's positive that has to do with current events. Yes, in fact, um, within a day or two I should be able to have the final details hashed out. And then I'll start be able to start talking about it. It's just something that I didn't want to start talking about. I didn't want to jump the gun. <clears throat> okay. I just wanted to get all the things, all the ducks in a row. All the details hashed out and everything before I announced it to you guys. To avoid any kind of... Uh, problems or anything like that, but new good positive news coming up this week for you guys earlier on in the week. All right, so that's a good thing that's coming up. Um, outside of that, really, honestly, um, the only other thing is that you know, in nine days' time, my girlfriend's moving in with me, and that's gonna be amazing. I, I cannot wait, seriously, it's gonna be so great to have her here with me all the time to share my life with her, to be doing things together constantly. Um, it's going to be such a better life for me, seriously, and I need it because this last year has been one of the roughest of my life overall. It really has been. Um, <clears throat> I've been through the ringer, folks. The YouTube adpocalypse 
having to completely change my business over to a live streaming model, which was very, very stressful and a lot of work. Uh, you know, breaking up with my ex-girlfriend of five years slash ex-fiance. Um, and then going through even worse things with fucking copyright strikes and taxes and all kinds of shit. And my health, personally, as you guys know, my voice has been screwed up pretty much for the greater part of the last year. Um, and really hasn't really had an opportunity to recover. I'm hoping these four days off that I'm taking, uh, when my girlfriend arrives here, are going to help my throat significantly. Um, <clears throat> so all that being said, um, yeah, it's going to be great. I cannot wait for my girlfriend to move in and for us to start a life together and for us to start other stuff. You know, I'm going to be showing you her, you know, obviously taking a picture, introducing her, and we're going to be doing some vlogging and stuff. It's going to be great. Uh, I cannot wait. I seriously cannot wait. So, hope you guys are looking forward to the rest of this year because I certainly am. I think things are going to be on the up and up, you know. All right, everybody. So the only other thing I want to mention before we get to the plugs is the situation we have right now with the subscriptions here on the channel. We're in a situation that I fully expected was going to happen. If you're not aware, guys, right now, the highest we've ever had for subscriptions on my Twitch channel was 564 concurrent subscriptions. All right? Pretty awesome. However, right now, we're down to like 530. No lie. We are way the hell down. And you might say, well, why is that happening? Well, it's very simple, folks. It's because if you remember, last month, early January, I announced for the first time ever Twitch goals for subscriptions. And I explained, if we hit tier one, we're going to do an Indies Marathon. Tier two, I'm going to do this shower video, DSP tries it, etc., etc. And people, for the first time, were motivated incredibly to come subscribe to the channel. And they did. I gained, no lie, probably about 100 to 150 subscribers in the month of January, which is freaking amazing. Okay, however, sadly what happened was, is now is that we're a month later and we're up to, you know, 550, 560. Well, guess what? A lot of those subscriptions that happened last month, in particular, a lot of those were gifted, uh, are now expiring and they're not auto-renewing. So if we're going to maintain what we've got, all right, people have to be, you know, on the lookout for if and when subscriptions are expiring so that you can resub, all right? Right now is the perfect time to sub. Number one, we've got more emotes than ever. All right. In the past month, we added six new emotes. Okay. So many people are now subscribers and are enjoying their subscriptions. It's pretty damned awesome. In addition, now there's actually incentive for you to become a tier two or tier three sub for the first time ever. There used to never be any incentive besides basically giving me more money. But now if you do either the $10 or the $25 subscription, you then get access to the Tier 2 emote, which is the Super Saiyan God DSP emote. Or if you do a Tier 3 sub, you're the Super Saiyan Blue DSP emote that are exclusive to that level of subscription. All right. So there's actually more incentive now than ever to subscribe. In addition, I've set up the new subscription goals for this month. If we hit 600 concurrent subs by the end of this month, which should be doable considering we had 560 just a couple days ago, uh, I will be starting up a new cooking show with my girlfriend when she moves in. We're going to name it something totally different. It's a totally new series we'll be starting up from the ground up. It's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it, okay? And uh, I certainly hope that you would check it out. I mean, people wanted me to do a cooking show now for the greater part, no exaggeration, of about eight straight years Ever since I stopped doing Cooking with the King, people have said, when are you going to do cooking? You're bringing back cooking? What about cooking? Well, guess what? If we hit the goal this month, I'm bringing it back. But we got to hit the goal, folks. So 600 subs. We will start a cooking show together, and it's going to be cool. We're going to be doing all kinds of different dishes. You're going to have dinners. You're probably going to have desserts. All kinds of stuff we're going to be doing. It's going to be sweet, okay? So, please... Consider subbing. Now is the time. Jump in on the fun. Get in with all the people here every day who are using the emotes and everything. It's a great thing. It directly supports me. It helps me out and, you know, it helps everything out and just keeps the channel growing. That's the whole goal here is to make my Twitch channel my primary source of income so I am freed from the shackles of the crap that YouTube does, 
over there with all the garbage that they've done with their own website and screwed everything over with ad revenue. You know, the highest views I've had in a year, yet the lowest money I've ever made on YouTube. I won't have to worry about that shit anymore if we can keep Twitch growing the way it's been. All right? So let's keep this shit going. <clears throat> all right. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Time for some plugs. All right? Then time for shout outs, and then we'll get started with Super Mario Sunshine. All righty. So, folks. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's live streams. And or if you're watching this on YouTube and you watch my videos on demand on YouTube, I certainly hope that you enjoy those as well. If you would like to go above and beyond just being a standard stream viewer or video watcher, and you'd like to go the extra mile to help me out and ensure that I can keep doing this in the long term, there are many ways that you can contribute above and beyond. All right? The first is being... Uh, Patreon at patreon.com forward slash dark side fill <clears throat> where your monthly pledges allow me to afford the ongoing cost of doing business including things like the cost of electricity the cost of internet the cost of all the video games just to give you some perspective I just bought UFC 3 I'm going to be buying Shadow of the Colossus very soon uh, and then either Dynasty Warriors 9 or Secret of Mana I just recently spent the greater part of about $100 getting the equipment to play Super Mario Sunshine. Recently, I had to buy a new PS4 controller and a new gaming headset because my old ones were all four years old and broken. So that's just a few examples of the things that I've had to drop money on in the past few months. And your Patreon support helps me with that, all right? But the cool thing about this is it's not just about you, you know, pledging to me. You get stuff back for it. You actually get concrete control and interactivity over the streams and the gameplay that I put out. Pretty cool, right? So, for example, right now, if you pledge $5 or more to my Patreon, and if we hit the 650 subscriptions goal this month, which is very viable that we may do that, it's very possible, all right, um, you're going to be nominating and voting on games that'll be for the next Patron's Choice playthrough. Right now, Super Mario Sunshine is a Patron's Choice playthrough. It's only happening because the patrons nominated and voted for it, all right? And this is an amazing time to get in on that because now I can play all GameCube games because I have a GameCube essentially right here with my Wii that works with my capture setup, okay? <clears throat> it's a whole new world of content and games that have opened up to me recently. So, that's just one example. If you do another pledge level, you can get your, your questions actually 100% answered on my bi-monthly Q&A show, Ask the King, on the public show. Or, if you pledge the highest level, you can actually get a private Q&A video made for yourself, alright? People love this stuff. The perks are great. The people who have contributed to my Patreon over the past three years have been amazing people who love the perks, and it's the reason they keep coming back. You know, I have a good, consistent 150 to 200 people who every month pledge because they like the great perks that they get, and they obviously want to support my efforts. So, please consider pledging. If you have not, patreon.com forward slash dark side fill. A lot of great stuff has come out of it, all right? <clears throat> Number two is my Teespring store where you can get some pretty cool merch, right? Catered to myself, my streams, my YouTube videos, memes, logos, you know, different artwork, all kinds of fun stuff. Anything you buy from my Teespring store, I get a pretty sizable commission from. Plus, you get yourself a pretty cool collectible, like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, hoodie, a mug, a sticker, whatever, right? Um, right now, we're featuring the new King of Fighters design, designed by a longtime viewer and fan Insomniatic Me. Thank you to those who have checked it out already. I've already got a couple orders for it. And pretty soon, coming up, we'll have some more designs for you this year, okay? Give it a look. Anything, again, you buy... Helps me out. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> All right. And then last, but certainly not least, folks. If you are here live on the stream, and you are enjoying yourself, and you really like what I do, and you want to see me continue to do it, and, you know, you want to interact, you want to be a part of the stream, you actually want to get a shout-out. Well, if you cheer, you sub, or you tip during the course of today's stream, I will be giving you a verbal shout-out for your contributions. If you cheer 50 bits or more, if you subscribe to the click channel and click on the share button after you do, or if you tip me $5 or more during today's stream, you'll actually get an on-screen pop-up thank you notification as well. And, uh, you know, that way you get both visual and verbal recognition for your contributions. Now, keep in mind, folks, I will ask 
If you are going to do cheer subs or tips, please don't ask me ginormous paragraph length messages of questions. This is not a Q&A show, although if you ask me a quick question, perfect. That's the kind of stuff that's great for interactivity on the stream. But this is not the opportunity to ask me a five bullet point essay question. I'm going to be playing a game, okay? <laughs> in addition, please keep, keep in mind, it's at my discretion completely whether or not... Um, whether or not I, uh, you know, read your message, if you say something negative, if you say something creepy, if you say something weird, if you insult me, you know, those kind of things, I'm not going to read on the stream, all right? I'll leave it at my discretion to decide. All right. Well, ladies and gents, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and do some shout-outs. Let's get the shout-outs going, and then we'll get set up here. By the way, I, I apologize. Whenever I play Super Mario Sunshine, I will have to do a little bit of initial setup. Because the console when idle makes noise. So what I have to do is uh, wait for the stream to be on and then do the pre-stream and then set it up. It only takes about two minutes. It's not a big deal. But I will have to do that before we get started here. Um, get it all set up with my capture software and all the like. But All right. Um, let's do it. Let's do some shout outs. So first of all, scroll all the way down here. Again, I have to say a tremendous thank you. To those of you who cheer, sub, and tip when I'm not even here overnight, all right? Um, it's awesome that people keep me in mind, all right, when I'm not even here. That is pretty awesome. When I'm not even here on a live stream, people thinking of me and coming out to the streams and cheering, subbing, and tipping, your support is noted, and now it is time for you to get your recognition where it is due. So first of all, shout out to Infinite55 who did a 50-bit cheer. Thank you, Infinite, for the cheer. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Jack Spartacus also did a 100-bit cheer. Thank you, Jack Spartacus. Battle Duck 9000 did a 200-bit cheer and said, Riddle me this. I always hear whether you are or aren't here. And then he also did another 300-bit cheer and said, Who am I? Who is here? Whether or not you aren't here. What's the answer? Anyone know? What's the answer? What's the answer? Answer. Tell me. Who's here even if I'm not here? No one's answering. Nightbot? Nightbot's actually a good answer. Nightbot. Nightbot is here even when I'm not here. That's true. That is very true. Nightbot's always in the stream chat. <clears throat> so I guess maybe that's the answer. Nightbot. <laughs> There you go. All right. Papa Lou tipped me $2 and asks, who's your sugar daddy? Uh, I don't have a sugar daddy. What I have is an amazing group of viewers, fans, and supporters who want to see me continue to be successful at what I do and actually want to see my Twitch continue to be more successful and grow this year. I don't have a particular sugar daddy, and I never did, by the way. As much as my idiotic detractors would like to think that certain individuals were my sugar daddy who financed everything, that's just their own fucking weirdo obsession with certain people. That was very much not the truth. In fact, it's hilarious because for like, I'm not even kidding, for about six straight months, they obsessed over Vidar Viking, claiming that he was sending me secretly thousands and thousands of dollars to my Patreon, and he was all the anonymous tips, and he was doing everything behind the scenes. In reality, and this is the God's honest truth, folks, just so you guys know, to clear the air, Vidar actually had not contributed in that way to me in a long time. He, months and months ago, he actually wrote me an email, a nice email, saying, listen, you know, I actually really still like what you do, and I'd like to help you as a mod, but I can't, I'm not going to be continuously supporting you financially, you know. I've done a lot over the summer or whatever, but I'm not going to do it anymore. To which I responded and said, dude, you've done more than enough. You don't even have to write me to tell me that and feel bad or whatever, you know. That's ridiculous that you even felt obligated that you had to write me to tell me this. It's not a big deal. You know, so in reality, all that major support that I got over the past several months had nothing to do with Vidar Viking whatsoever, but I hate to say it, but the obsessive mentally ill idiots out there think that it was, and they turned it basically into this big campaign to basically, sl you know, slap slander this fucking guy, which is ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> pretty stupid, man. They constantly just attacked him for stuff he didn't do, and I feel bad because, you know, not to say that. He didn't take it to the extreme, you know, going and, and going to where I've told him a million times not to go over to their places and posting up and stuff too. But, 
you know, he really was a guy completely under fire for shit he was completely innocent of. So, anyway, I digress. That has nothing to do with anything now, but I'm just saying, it's pretty funny that, that idiots say shit like that. There's no sugar daddy. It doesn't exist. It's actually a group effort of people who really like me and like my stuff and want to see me continue to be successful. And thank you guys for that. <clears throat> All right, shout out to Lysifer Soul who subbed to the channel for a second month in a row and says, I was actually going to switch it up to Tier 2 this month, but it auto-renewed me for the $5 level. Next month, I will have the Super Saiyan God DSP. Well, I appreciate that, Life's for Soul. First of all, I appreciate the resub to begin with. Um, and I appreciate the sentiment of you wanting to up your level. It's not going anywhere. Don't worry. The Tier 2 and Tier 3 are here to stay. So, there you go. All right. Let's... Go ahead and do some cheers now, or uh, shout-outs now for cheer subs and tips that happen during the stream. Here we go. Big Boy Dumper did a 25-bit cheer and says, Would you ever consider playing DCS World for PC? That would be a fun goal. I think you would excel. I don't even know what that is. I've never heard of it. DCS World. No idea. <clears throat> so I guess the answer is no. Mr. Papa Vera did a 25-bit cheer and says, Phil, hope you're feeling 100% again, ready for some Mario. Well, let me put it this way. Being sick? Yes. I'm not sick anymore. I have not had a headache, a fever, nothing since Monday. So, I've been good. The, the, whatever was in me, my body kicked the shit out of it and kicked it out. But my throat is still pretty hoarse and worn out. Um, I'm honestly happy that tomorrow I'm only doing a half stream. And, uh, you know, I'm happy that I'm taking some time off soon, you know, for my girlfriend's arrival, where I won't be just constantly talking, talking, talking. Um... <clears throat> and I certainly hope that, you know, after that, I come back refreshed and ready. All right. Big Boy Dumper did another cheer and said, Do you, did you actually watch Groundhog Day? Yes, I did, and I even posted up on my Instagram and Twitter a picture of it. I watched Groundhog Day the movie, and I love that movie. I watch it once a year on Groundhog Day, and I recommend all of you make this a tradition of yours as well because the movie is hilarious. Watching it once a year, it never gets old. I love it. All right, Ren Jesse James did a 25-bit cheer, and he says, even with my ad blocker off, I only saw one ad on your videos on YouTube during the entire month of January. <laughs> what the fuck? The entire month of January, he saw one advertisement. Well, this actually, quite frankly, folks, goes hand in hand, all right? Um, It actually goes hand in hand with... uh the fact of what I've been telling you about the old videos of mine that are on DSP Gaming, what I've noticed, folks, is that literally, I'm not even kidding, you know, DSP Gaming's been around since 2010. Well, what I'm noticing is that the old videos are getting no ads anymore. So we're talking videos that have been around for years and years that have gotten tens of thousands, in some cases, hundreds of thousands of views. These videos have been completely demonetized. They don't get ads on them anymore on YouTube at all. What I'm noticing is that pretty much only my newer uploads from like the past six months to a year really get ads on them anymore. Um, so that being said... You know, I have to, I, even though people are like, well, Phil, why do you care about YouTube anymore? Well, pretty much because YouTube, uh, you know, it is still important income for me. As much as it's declined, it's still important. And the fact that I've got a 10-year legacy of videos that basically don't make any money now because YouTube demonetized everything. Um, it's fucking terrible, dude. And quite frankly, it's bullshit. So I have to, I, I mean, literally, I'm, I still have to upload daily videos to YouTube to make any money because everything else is demonetized. It doesn't even make sense. It really doesn't even make sense. Like, uh, why is that? Why would they take videos that still get views, right? And are still legit videos that were always legitimate for monetization. And, you know, they're just video game playthroughs. And just, oh, we're just decided we're not going to put ads on those anymore for no reason. Great. Thanks, YouTube. Really appreciate that. So, yeah, I am. I have to keep constantly pumping out new videos, new videos, new videos, or else I make no money on YouTube. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <clears throat> Okay, shout out to Papa Lou, who did a 25-bit cheer and said, Dear Phil, do you ever think about me when you are not streaming? Uh, no, never. Literally never. In fact, sometimes when I am streaming, I still don't think about you. <laughs> okay, then. 
Mr. Papavera. Did a 25-bit cheer and says, I used to watch Machinima a lot for entertainment, but I haven't watched any Machinima videos in years. I almost forgot that they existed completely. Well, there you go. I'm not surprised. I mean, when I, when I stayed with Machinima as long as I did, quite frankly, the only reason I did is because they were paying me more than any other partnership network. And literally, people would contact me on the day and say, why are you still with them? They're, like, they're a relic. They're an ancient, you know, thing. No one talks about them. No one cares about them anymore. They barely exist. The only reason they exist is because they've gotten financially bailed out three times in the history they've existed on YouTube. <clears throat> and here they are again getting bought out by WB. This was about a year and a half ago. You know, and who knows what their future is. WB could close them down overnight. Why are you still with them? To which I was like, yeah, but you know what? They're still paying me the most money. And then that went away and I said, well, fuck it then. Bye-bye. All right, the Asian entrepreneur did a 25-bit cheer, and he said, Oh, shit, I didn't even know you were playing this today. Also, apologies on that terrible and offensive joke on the last Sunshine stream. <laughs> Dude, why would you even bring that up? Literally, no one remembered it until you just mentioned it. What you guys got to remember is that, you know, things like that, a little joke on a stream, a little stupid thing, forgive and forget. We don't care about that shit. We're not going to hold grudges, right? You know, you guys aren't me. Me, I do something... And it's fucking archived by 45,000 other people, spammed on every fucking website. God forbid I ever make a mistake, the whole internet knows about it. But you guys, no one really cares if you make an off-color joke or whatever. Just as long as you don't keep doing it, <clears throat> you know. Try not to be offensive, just try to have a good time. That's what it's all about. No need to come back and apologize two weeks later for past transgressions. We're all good. We're all good. We're all in a good mood here. It's not like... Uh, you know, we're all a bunch of jerks, uptight, you know, how dare this person have done this and said this. Fuck that. We're not like that shit. Nope. 2018's a new year, folks. 2018, new year, new attitude. Shout out to Soap McTavish. Soap, actually it's not. So It's Soap McTawish. So whoever this is, they spelled it wrong. But they did give me a dollar tip and said, flashbang through the door. Okay then. Shout out to Papa Lou. Who did a 25-bit cheer and says, Phil, I've never tipped. I only cheer. Don't let these weird tips make you think less of me. They aren't mine. I hope that you believe me. Okay, so someone's impersonating Papa Lou with the tips. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hank Duma just tipped me 10 bucks. Thank you, Hank. Good to see you. And Hank says, you know, Phil, it's a group effort of us all. Us philanthropists. Stay strong, Phil. Yeah, Hank is, is one of these people who's been a long time viewer and every once in a while he comes by a stream and he'll toss me a tip or something it's it's nice and it's appreciated and you know the fact that people <clears throat> sadly try to spin it as oh it's one one sugar daddy who's kept phil afloat no those are those are dumb fucks who just aren't willing to to accept the fact that i'm still have popularity on the internet and there's still people who like me despite the fact that they've turned youtube into a toxic cesspool against me it doesn't matter there's still people who see through all the bullshit because they're intelligent and they're not mindless, mouth-drooling idiots like these people who dislike me. So they know it's all stupid shit and they come out and they like the streams and they contribute. That's why I'm still here. Not because one guy likes me and and unloaded his fucking bank account. You guys are out of your fucking minds. <clears throat> all right. Shout out to Fake Papa Lou, who did a $3 tip and says, It was just a joke. No hidden agendas or trolling intended. Sorry, True Papaloo, for borrowing your nickname. There you go. There you go. And shout out to Papaloo, who did another 25-bitch here. He says, what is it that you need me to do for you to put me on your auto-hosting list? You're in my heart forever. Well, the first step would be to stop saying that I'm in your heart forever. So once you could stop doing creepy shit like that, maybe I would consider putting you on the auto-host list. Sadly... We've got a long, long way to go, Papa Lou. <laughs> We've got a big path, of a big journey ahead of us, okay? And much like the Lord of the Rings trilogy, you're going to be hoofing it to Mount Doom, so you better get your hobbit feet ready, all right? <clears throat> okay. Anyway, Big Boy Dumber just did a 25-bit cheer, and he says, just got back from the shower, getting some KFC pot pie soon. I have never had a pot pie from KFC. I don't know if they're any good. I just If I go to KFC, I'm just going to get their fried chicken. Classic recipe, period. That's, that's what I go for. 
the Asian entrepreneur did a 25-bit cheer and said, Papa Lou is weirding me out. Watch him show up on your doorstep with a 12-gauge shotgun with chocolates and flowers. Lol, kappa, kappa, kappa. Well, all jokes aside, I'm pretty sure people know not to show up here. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I live on private property in a private community. If you step foot anywhere near my house, you're already broken the law and will go to jail. No lie, you're already trespassing. <clears throat> Just throwing that out there, that's one of the reasons why I live where I live. Because <clears throat> over the years, sadly, I did have a few close encounters with a few people who felt like they should overstep their bounds to show their undying support, which is not appreciated and is creepy as fuck. And people, in general, know better than to do that. Um, thank God. But, you know, there's a reason why I live where I live for my own personal safety. Uh, I think Papa Lou, you know, likes to joke about it and stuff. I don't think he's super serious about the stuff he says. But FYI, uh, no, it's not cool for people to just fucking show up. In fact, that's unsafe and you will go to jail. Make no mistake, you show up unannounced and uh, you're creeping me out, I will call the police. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> okay. Big Boy Dumber did a 25-bit cheer. He says, is there a chance that Papa Lou is like the guy from Hannibal Lecter who stuffs dicks between his legs and makes skin suits? I mean, I don't know. And quite frankly, it's none of my business. I don't know anything about this guy. <clears throat> I don't, you know, if he wants to do weird shit in his own time, that's fine. Do it at your own place. That's my point. Don't come to my front porch and do it. Because then you'll be going to jail. <laughs> Tokyo Trump did a 25-bit cheer said, hello? There you go. And then Big Boy Dumper saying creepy stuff about me getting guns. Can we all relax, please? Can we all relax? Can we stop this now? <sighs> and then Big Boy Dumper says, Oh, but all jokes aside, Papa Lou's clearly a joker, I'm pretty sure. I just think people take shit too seriously. You know? Papa Lou, I think he actively is trying to sound creepy to get attention on the streams. It's pretty obvious. I mean, <laughs> he's someone who wants attention. As long as he's not going overstepping his bounds and being a complete offensive jerk, there's no reason to chastise him or be a jerk to him. At the same time, if he ever does do that, then, you know, we're going to take appropriate steps. So, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> so there you go. All right. Um, I guess that's it. Looks like we're, hopefully we're, uh, well, it looks like we're not going to get a relapse of yesterday. Holy shit. Yesterday's pre-stream. So it looks like I've gotten through. Oh, never mind. Uh, Leno JP did a 50-bit cheer. Says, are you going to complete the game tonight? No. Are you crazy? How can I complete the game? I think I only have what? Don't I only have like 30 of the, sh the sh what are they called? The fucking shines or whatever? I think I only have like 30. Don't you need 70 to unlock the final world? So I'm not even close. I'm not even halfway through the game yet. You know, definitely you're talking three, four, five more sessions probably to finish it. If that, you know, even maybe more. I guess we'll see. <clears throat> okay. Shout out to Big Boy Dumper again who cheered and said, KFC pot pie is good. Go try it, but the top of the crust, the top is the crust, no undercrust. Bad times in that regard. Oh, I see. So you're saying it's not like an actual pie. The crust is only on top. So you only get crust on top. There's no crust on the bottom. Then that ain't a real pot pie, bro. That's, that ain't, that's fake as shit. <laughs> that's just fucking... Tin foil with, with crust on top. That ain't a pot pie. Real pot pie has to have crust on the bottom, too. Unacceptable. <clears throat> uh, it's Cry Cry. I just did a 25-bit cheer. He said, I know Papa Lou in real life, and he has an entire room full of your pictures. <laughs> okay. Your neighbor in the walls said, All fine. I'll stop grabbing your loose change around the house. Thank you for the dollar tip, your neighbor in the walls. Leno JP did another 50-bit cheer and said, speed run it. I don't, how could I speed run a game I've never played before? That doesn't even make sense. Maybe you guys don't understand. This is the first time I've ever played Super Mario Sunshine. So there's no way I could speed run the game because I've never played it. <laughs> Why do you think I'm failing so much and, you know, doing poorly on certain stages? You know, it's because I've never, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Big Boy Dumper did a 25-bit cheer and asked, am I playing PUBG later? No, I'm not. I already explained. Later I'm playing uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Because I don't want to play with Android 21, who I unlocked the other day. And then tomorrow is my major PUBG stream. Tomorrow, the entire lengthy first stream is PUBG. <clears throat> Atlas Telemon did a 95-bit cheer. What's up, man? He says, I've been with you for 10 years. If anyone loves you, it's me. Wow. Now we're all competing to be creepy. That's great. Isn't that great? Look what you've done, Papaloo. You've turned everyone into a creep. Great. 
BuzzFizz32. Just subscribe to the channel for the seventh month in a row. And says, any plans to bring back salty Sundays? Well, BuzzFizz, it's actually interesting you bring this up. Because with Dragon Ball Fighters, I was originally planning on having this be like a game I play weekly. But quite sadly, as guys have seen, the, ma the, the, the matchmaking is terrible. <clears throat> like, trying to play the game online, I, sometimes I've s sat here upwards of 20 mo or more minutes waiting for a match before I got one. So sadly, no, I'm not going to waste my time um, <clears throat> sitting around once a week <clears throat> waiting for the matchmaking to work. It just doesn't work. So until Bandai Namco fixes it, uh, I'm not going to be consistently playing it. Now, coming up later this year, if you guys aren't aware, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection comes out in May, including Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter Alpha 3, and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Four games all available to be played online with full co a co a competitive play in an online setting. Those, I mean, that's a tremendous amount of variety of content that I could do. Imagine if, like, every week I decide to do a stream of one of them or something, if not more. That could be amazing. That would be a really cool ongoing series. Once a week, I just play a variety of fighting games online. You know, throwback Capcom fighters that I'm actually decent at and I can do well in. That could be great. And I would definitely consider doing that. But again, we don't know. How's that game going to play online? Is it going to be a piece of shit? Or how is it going to be? We don't know yet. Let's see what happens. But yeah, I'm not against having a weekly session of multiplayer gameplay. The problem is we got to find stuff that consistently works. And sadly, Dragon Ball Fighters just doesn't consistently work right now. <clears throat> it sucks, but that's just reality. Mr. Papa Vera did another small cheer and says, just figured I'd throw in another cheer. Thank you, Mr. Papa Vera. Mr. Swaggins did a cheer and says, I just hope that Papa Lou isn't an adult. Then it's even more weird. I'd assume you get tired of reading those weird messages. Looking forward to this stream, though. <laughs> Asian Entrepreneur did a 25-bit cheer and says, kind of off topic, but would you play San Andreas in the summer, please? Do the optional story missions like Zero, Driving School, and Salvatore Heist. I'll promise you I will load up as many cheers as possible. Um, I've already said I am planning on doing throwback playthroughs this summer, including one Grand Theft Auto game, Bloodborne, including the Old Hunters DLC, and Heavy Rain. Those three are like almost a lock for the summer. Those are things I want to do during the summer. As my, part of my 10th anniversary spectacular, where basically I go back and play the best games I've ever played, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah. I would definitely consider it's either going to be Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, or San Andreas, with the remakes that they made of those games. I'm going to be playing one of them, but I don't know which one. <clears throat> I guess we'll see. All right, Big Boy Dumber did another cheer and says, start the stream before more weirdness. I want Italiano, Phil, Mario, Rage, fun times with inappropriate music. And Leno JP did a 50-bit cheer and says, can we buy t-shirts with your face on it? Well, yeah, did you check out my Teespring? There's a lot of designs with my face on it. Not necessarily my realistic face, but cartoonish versions. And, you know, there's the Wow Dude shirt that's been pretty popular. Um, you know, there's several different ones, several different designs. Give it a look. Give it a look. I think you'll like what you find. All right, everyone. I think now things have finally cooled down. It looks like the cheers, subs, and tips have dried out. And therefore, I think it is time... For me to set up and then begin playing Super Mario Sun. Oh, never mind. I just got a $3 tip from the Handsome Muscle Elf. Who asks me, what do you think of GGPO? Uh, oh my god. What do you think of GGPO? I think it would be good for that weekly fighting game segment. GGPO is shit. GGPO is rollback netcode, which is terrible. It regularly will show you something on the screen, then take it away and do something else. Which is complete and utter fucking garbage. And should not be in any kind of a fighting game whatsoever. GGPO, originally, when Cap, when uh, the Cannon Brothers, well, one of the Cannon Brothers, whichever one created it, I always forget which one it was, uh, was attempting to sell GGPO netcode to Capcom. They blatantly lied about the fact that there were input drops and other negative things about it. They created a thread on the SRK forums to literally kiss their own ass and have people only post up positive things about GGPO in an attempt to show that as PR to Capcom to sell it. I exposed them for basically lying and covering up the fact that there were tons of dropped inputs and things that happened during gameplay, and they banned me from SRK forums for it. So, I don't really like GGPO, and you'll never find me playing it. There you go. There's a God's honest answer for you. 
<laughs> a lot of people don't know that, but that's that's 100% true. I was the whistleblower, and they didn't like that, and they banned me from SRK, and I said, well, fuck you then. I won't support your shit anymore. Alrighty then. Shout out to Battle Duck 9000 who did a 200-bit cheer and said things never settle on the stream chat. Well, thank you, Battle Duck. And by the way, with that 200-bit cheer, Battle Duck just became the cheerleader for today's stream. So thank you guys very much for your support on pre-stream. And thank you, Battle Duck, for that 200-bit cheer and becoming cheerleader. I appreciate it. <clears throat> All right, folks. Now, it finally seems like things have calmed down here on the pre-stream. I don't see any more cheers, subs, or tips coming in. I do want to remind everyone, again, we are trying to push towards 600 subs this month for the Tier 1 goal and 650 for the Tier 2. We've got quite a ways to go, and a lot of subs have expired. So, you know, if you want to consider subbing, it helps me out tremendously. You could do the Tier 2 or Tier 3 subs, and I very much would appreciate that. So, thank oh, Battle Duck 9000 just did a 300-bit cheer. It said, oh, shucks, now I have to raise it. So Battle Duck just trumped himself to become the cheerleader again of today's stream with a 300-bit cheer. Thank you, Battle Duck, for that. I appreciate it. <clears throat> All right. All right, now it actually seems like things have calmed down here, folks. So I guess we will get set up here and get started with Super Mario Sunshine again. Thank you guys very much for your cheer subs and tips. And if you do any of those during today's stream, I will give you a shout-out on the stream. All right. Last couple sunshine sessions have been quite good in that regard with the interactivity. And it basically helps me out a lot because, as you guys know, I cannot monetize these videos on YouTube because Nintendo steals all the ad revenue for Nintendo games. So any contributions you make during today's stream are very much appreciated because, basically, I'm rolling solely on what I make on stream today is my income for today. All right? <clears throat> Real talk. <clears throat> all right. Let's do this, folks. Let's get Super Mario Sunshine set up. And going. Thank you, everyone, and let's end the pre stream right now. <laughs> 